Funny thing is, this is him on a good day. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Iron Patriot. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As always, in the background, we have the Avengers A, Avengers Endgame Iron Patriot. On this side of the box, we have Iron Patriot. On the other side of the box, Iron Patriot. On the top, Avengers A, build a figure, Thor, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes, on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, you have all the figures needed to build said Thor, and up top we have Iron Patriot again, and you have a bio in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Patriot of Iron, and let's get in close here. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see the helmet very nicely done. With the red and the blue and the silver. You get the eyes done there in white and red. Oh no, looks pretty good. The suit itself has some silver. The uh, blue has a nice kind of metallic sheen to it, which looks quite nice. You got some nice little tampographed details there. FF2718. All that good stuff. A little arc reactor. Some silvers. Some reds. Got some hip missiles going on there. Those are some hip missiles, man. Some hip missiles. Uh, moving down the armor here. Let's see. Pretty nicely done. Pretty nicely detailed. Moving up the back. Get some bits here picked out in silver. It's got some guns. Look at all those guns. Oh, look at them. They're on all looks pretty cool now articulation wise the head is on a ball joint so you get some wiggly waggly wiggly waggly you can look up a little bit can look down head can only rotate but so far before things just kind of get in the way arms can do a full 360 they can move in and out the shoulder pads are made of a rubber so they will move out of the way but you're kind of mushing things up a little bit nah, i don't really like that but you know still you can get some movement there you do have bicep rotation you have very slight elbow movement here. That's pretty much all you're going to get right there. That's all the bend you're going to get. The wrists do rotate as well as that hinge that allows it to move in and out. You do have an upper torso joint here on the ball joints. So you have your wiggly waggly rotation, whatever you need. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You get thigh rotation, you do have a double jointed knee, which on mine is really tight, especially this bottom joint. On mine is like super tight to the point where I can't really bend it, but it, it, it's there, it moves, trust me, it moves. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you get a little bit of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include some more armaments. He does include a set here of Missile racks, again, just done in that blue with some silver in there. So you get two of those. And you also get some more guns. Look at all those guns. Again, done in that red and blue and silver. A little bit of sloppy, a little bit of sloppy paint there on mine, but that's okay. Although, looks pretty nice. And all this plugs onto his back. You take the, uh, the missile racks here and they plug into these bigger ports on his back, on either side. And then these guns just plug into these smaller ports right up top here. Like so, and like so. And of course you can just kind of angle those however you want. And there you go, he's got all of his armament now, and now he is ready to do some battle. So yay! Yay for battle. And for comparison, here he is with War Machine. You can see how those two suits look side by side. And they both look cool as far as I'm concerned. And here he is with Iron Man. And Rescue, if she'll stand. There we go. So, there you have that. 
And the last thing to talk about is the build a figure part. So in this wave, you're going to be able to build Thor and not just any Thor, but Fat Thor. Yeah, Fat Thor. <laughs> and with Iron Patriot here, we get not just one, but two heads for Fat Thor. You can see with and without sunglasses. It's the same head sculpt. They just glued sunglasses on one, but still, you have the option there. It is a pretty nicely done head sculpt. So yeah, we have his head. We have some decapitated fat Thor heads here. Hey, there we go. It has begun. So there you have Iron Patriot. Um, he's chunky, he's bulky, he's gonna blow things up. But all around though, nicely done figure, I like it. So there you go. Now if you like this or any other Marvel Legends toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Marvel Legends playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Iron Patriot. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Hey, Rody. Oh, really? More guns? Do you really need more guns? Yeah, says the guy who has 238 different suits. I'm rich, okay? I have no sense of boundaries. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs>